Namaste. My name is Munmun from the channel Moonlight Guidance and I am here to raise your consciousness. Today I will directly come to the point. I will not waste time in discussing how or what romantic relationships are. You all know and may have better idea than me. Today I will discuss some significant points based on my experience. When couples are in relationship, both the partners think that they are contributing 100% to the relationship. Then why at a later stage the same relationship fails? Where do they miss? Where do they lag behind? Every relationship is very sweet at the initial stage. I call this a stage as honeymoon phase. This sweet stage may last for weeks, months or years. Then what happens that it turns out sour? The major explanation comes with the expectation from our partner versus practicality. Our mind doesn't have the broad spectrum to accept our partners as they are. We forget that they are different individuals and have different soul path. Love relationships are a part of life, but it's not the whole life. We all are born with different soul purpose and should pursue that. In love, couples should understand each other and should respect the other person for their different opinions, choices and decisions. We forget that love is to make each other's life path easy and not to make each other's life difficult. I hope you will agree with this. We also do a mistake by trying to change our partner. When that sweet honeymoon phase of few weeks, months or years passes through, what change comes in our behavior and why? And of course, this period varies from couple to couple. See, by the end of this phase, we come to know in and out of our partner which we didn't know at the initial relationship stage. We show only good side of our personality at the initial phase of relationship. What happens after this loving doving goody goody phase which leads to breakup? First, let's discuss the honeymoon period. Relationship starts with meeting, then attraction ignites, then curiosity sets in, then interest, then infatuation occurs and then one day you are enlightened that you have got your perfect partner. Now you are in the ninth cloud, everything seems to go fine. You think that this honeymoon period is forever, but mind it, it's not. After the honeymoon, the real relationship sets in. Now let me remind you to reach till this level of your love journey you give more focus and attention to your to be partner and less or zero focus on your regular life priorities like you are not attentive to your friend circle, your family or your career. Now once you have filled your cup of love from this relationship, you feel happy and satisfied. You start focusing on your previous priorities like giving more time to your old friends and family or focus on your career etc etc sometime this sudden change in your behavior is not taken well by your partner they wonder where the attention has vanished your partner needs to be matured enough to understand this else you need to initiate a course of communication series to make them understand the same when the real relationship sets in, many couples have increasing fights, feels like they have chosen the wrong partner, blame each other for issues, thinks of breaking up. This means that both of them have not found a way to diffuse the conflict, solve problems, accept their differences. Sometimes couples separate at this stage. Friends, if you have watched till here, you may like and share my video so that it reaches to the needy ones. You can also support my channel grow through donations. Donations are extremely appreciated. Details are in the description box below. And thank you very much to those who have already donated. My channel will always be grateful to you. Now let's continue. The second point is granted. Now comes the phase where one or both the partners get relaxed or reluctant on the relationship. They get relaxed on their responsibilities and duties. This relaxed attitude towards the relationship comes once you start becoming emotional dependent on each other. With emotional dependency comes the thinking that your partner will always be with you no matter what you do. 
no matter if you don't give enough time to the relationship no matter if you are the dominant one no matter if you are egoistic no matter if you don't perform your duties and only ask for your rights in this criteria of no matter what you do i have not mentioned the good deeds i have only pointed the bad deeds which may hamper the relationship because because today's video is in this topic in a way it's good feeling for the partner who is doing it i mean who is having the relaxed attitude the reluctant attitude but sometime it may backfire too i am not here to judge it's good or bad for every couple there are couples in this world whose equation is like this and both of them are okay with this equation mind it i am using the word okay and not using the word happy now let's focus back to our case our case is what if your partner is not okay with your sudden change of behavior this behavior change makes them feel that you are taking them for granted even if you are not there is very thin line between actually taking your partner for granted or does your partner only feels that you are taking them for granted in most of the cases we have seen that no partner intentionally treats the other one like granted but the other one feels that they have been taken for granted so the only way out is to eliminate this feeling of granted from your partner's mind and how you do that you do that by paying attention like the same as in the honeymoon phase include each other in decision making perform your duties in shortcut love relationships remain lovely and healthy as long as you work on them you invest on them the second case is what if your partner is actually taking you for granted how do you identify this and then how you resolve this if your partner is making little or no effort to involve you in their life and pushes away from being involved in yours you are being taken for granted and they are not appreciating you as they should be how do you stop being taken for granted in your relationship first don't break your plans to hang out with your partner have your own interest take a trip with your friends get dressed up for yourself take time for yourself let them initiate the physical contact know your worth most importantly love yourself first now the third is giving space giving someone space doesn't mean you are going to lose them it just means both of you can work on yourselves and come back stronger having space may even make you realize how much you two love and want each other in your lives if your partner says they need space it's easy to panic and think you have done something wrong but the truth is a little bit of space is healthy in the relationship sometimes we start spending too much of time together or we miss our friends or we just are not feeling ourselves and space can help to reset the balance perfectly to let the relationship bloom you need to let your partner miss you a little bit now fourth low sexual satisfaction when sexual satisfaction is not present some individuals may feel negative effects on their mental health conversely people who do not feel sexual desire may find these feelings distressing not having sex when in a relationship can make a person feel insecure or restless this leads to relationship difficulties you should first talk to your partner even if it feels awkward to bring it up or visit your doctor or visit a couples counselor now fifth infidelity or cheating if you are unfaithful to your partner you broke a commitment or promise with your partner it may lead to break up it can severely strain a relationship and the people involved an affair can leave the other person feeling devastated alone betrayed and confused sometimes an affair ends a relationship other reasons include lack of time spent together lack of positive interaction but if couples are matured and understand each other well these things doesn't affect at all so if you are in a relationship problem and don't want your relationship to fall apart you can definitely seek my help by reaching out to me through email i am concluding the video here 
If you are liking my content and returning here for my videos, let me know. And how will I know that you are liking my content? I will know only when you become the subscriber of my channel. So in short, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching Moonlight Guidance.